Greetings, friends. This is Philip, and welcome to the mindfulness session. I want to thank, as always, friends of Patterson Park for making this space available. And I'm really um, grateful, and my intention is to share this beautiful practice of mindfulness, which has helped me to um, really feel more peace and um, I feel grow a lot as a human and um, hopefully this will be of benefit to you. That's my intention is to offer that. Uh, today, I'd like to share about mindfulness of thoughts. Um, it's said that the thoughts um, come through like a waterfall and um, as mindfulness practice encourages us um, to do, really see clearly what's happening and to uh, allow and accept. So with mindfulness practice uh, of thoughts, um, today we'll hopefully see the thoughts that are passing by and really allow them to pass by um, so that we can have a little bit more, um, let's say, ability to work with them more as a friend and more skillfully. So just to come together as a group, I'll invite you to find a comfortable posture. If sitting works for you, I invite you to be sitting upright. If sitting doesn't work, laying down or standing or something in between. Um, if sitting, your shoulders can be back, head can be flat hands in your lap or on the knees. And if eyes closed feel comfortable, I invite you to do so. I'll ring the bell to start us and invite you just to bring your attention to the beginning and ending of this bell. And as we begin our practice today, it can be helpful to start with three conscious breaths just to collect our attention and settle in. So I invite you to breathe in fully and slowly. And slowly release. Again, breathing in fully and slowly. And a slow release, allowing the air to just trickle out. And one more full breath in. Feeling the body expand. And then as it releases, feeling the body contract and as the air flows out. And as we practice for a few moments, you might even notice and invite yourself to come back to this moment, leaving behind the past or notions of the future. coming into the center of this moment. And we can go to that center of this moment by bringing our attention to specifically to the breath. So I invite you just to look at or observe the breath as it is. without any change to it. And noticing if you can just accept the breath 
as it is now. And we can shift our attention now to sounds that arise and pass. And bring in the curiosity as if this was the first time hearing any of these sounds, because it is the first time in this moment. And just allowing your curiosity to receive the sounds. And you might bring the attention now to the body, just noting what is felt when you bring awareness into the body. If there's any sensations or feelings there. If so, bringing attention to them. If not, if it's numb, just bringing attention to the numbness. And as we rest here, having begun our practice together, perhaps just noting the thoughts that are arising and passing away. And if the thoughts seem to be less frequent, perhaps like a scattered clouds passing through the sky or fast, perhaps like a electronic billboard that's flashing the news of the day you might just inquire with yourself what the state of your thoughts are at this moment. And as always, allowing whatever the current state is to be how it is. Well, again, welcome everyone and thank you for practicing and I'm excited to share with you what I know about uh, bringing awareness to our thoughts. Um, the first and most important is to normalize thoughts, um, to realize that everyone um, has a mind that is secreting thoughts, it's been said. Um, the mind secretes thoughts like the salivary glands secrete saliva. It's just always something that happens. So it's not wrong and not something that we want to push away, rather just um, bring to light or bring to awareness. So why would that be important? Well, um, when we are having thoughts and not aware of them, they can create a story um, in our mind, some of them healthy and then some of them unhealthy. An example of an unhealthy story could be unconscious bias. So with this practice of mindfulness, we can actually choose um, how we wanna to respond to the thoughts that are coming. It's pretty challenging or might be even impossible to control the thoughts that come up. But with mindfulness of thoughts, we can actually um, choose how we want to respond. 
when we bring awareness to a thought, let's say it's an unhealthy thought or one that doesn't serve us, um, when we bring attention to it, we can actually, just like when the sun um, shines down on a cloud, it can kind of dissolve, dissolve the cloud. And similarly, when we bring this light of awareness to thoughts, um, it can actually dissolve the thought and allow it to pass by. So how do we actually do this? What's the strategy for being mindful of thoughts? And just like what we've practiced before, it has to do with naming what is happening, what our experience is. So for example, as we're practicing, say I'm practicing here right now, and I begin to think about um, what I want to eat later, feeling some hunger or some, my belly rumbling. And as that thought comes up, I would just gently name it, perhaps dinner or tacos or whatever um, the thought of the moment is. You might experiment with more specific or less specific um, naming. Some people, it works for them just to name thinking or thoughts. And for some people, it helps to name the specific thought that they're thinking. For example, if they were thinking about tacos, then tacos. So this is... Um, Naming is really the important thing. And you might have noticed that I said naming in a kind way. So really the tone of um, how we name these to ourselves. And again, this is, um, if I was thinking about dinner, I would be naming to myself dinner or thinking. Um, but the reason it's important to how we name them is because um, it can really, uh, internally make us think that we're befriending the thoughts or fighting the thoughts. And as my mindfulness teacher, Tara Brock says, if we're at war with our thoughts, we'll be at war our whole life. So really the, the approach is not to clear out the mind or clear out the thoughts, but rather name them, see them, and do it in such a kind way that um, we really make space and allow them to be there. And just like clouds, they'll continue to pass by. That will allow us to come back to really living um, fully in this moment, which some say is our true nature or who our true self is. So I'm going to invite you to join me in this practice, um, finding a comfortable upright posture as we explore together mindfulness of thoughts, your shoulders can be back, hands resting. If eyes closed works for you, I recommend it uh, because we, it will help to be aware of our thoughts. I'll ring the bell to start us and invite you to just notice the sound that it creates. As we begin our practice, I invite you just to join me in a full and slow breath in. And a very slow exhale. And we can begin to cultivate this awareness of the present moment by resting our attention with curiosity on the breath. Observing the breath, how it is.
And we can direct our attention now to sounds. Just letting sounds arise and pass. And sounds just like thoughts arise and pass away. And similarly, it can help to name them. If you hear a specific sound like birds or people talking, you can feel free to experiment just gently naming them. And see if that does anything to change your state of awareness. Just noticing how the sounds change. You might bring your attention now into the body, noticing the feelings in the body at this moment. You might ask yourself, what's true in the in the body at this moment. And with all of the experience of breath and sounds and body, can you offer some sort of accepting awareness or a gesture of acceptance like the word yes or thank you or welcome. Just inviting that experience, this experience of presence to be here. And if there's any muscle tension or muscles that are tight, you might just observe in your body. And if there is, perhaps in the shoulders or the face, back, just allow that to soften and settle. And you might just uh, observe or inquire the state of your own presence at this moment compared to when we started. Do you feel more in the moment or less? And now we can begin this beautiful practice of bringing out awareness to our thoughts and the way we'll do this is by what's called the cat watching the mouse hole. And just as a cat would wait outside of a mouse hole to see when the mouse pokes their head out. Similarly, we'll be waiting or observing our, our mind, resting in this awareness that we've cultivated. And when a thought arises, we can name it either as thought or specific, whatever it is. Give it a number, one. And then again, rest in this awareness and be on the lookout for the next thought. So our goal will be just to count how many thoughts arise in the next minute or so. So I invite you to join me in observing thoughts that arise and counting them.
So you might just notice or note, mentally note how many thoughts came in that period. And for the last moment or so, we'll just rest here in this awareness. And we might even take this moment to observe our breath for a moment. and just observe the state of our awareness. And if there's any intention that we want to carry this awareness into, another way to say that is what matters most at this moment, whether it's presence or peace, kindness, connected connection to people or sense of belonging and gently name your intention what matters the most at this moment To conclude our practice today, I'll share a quote by Tina Turner, singer, who says, whatever is bringing you down, get rid of it, because you'll find that when you're free, your true self comes out. So we can blink our eyes open. Thank you for practicing along. And I wonder if you have any questions about um, bringing awareness to your thoughts. One that I often hear is um, this idea about clearing the mind. A lot of people say, I want to practice mindfulness so I can clear the mind. Um, again, since normalizing thoughts means that thoughts are always coming. We can never really stop the waterfall. The waterfall of thoughts will always come. What we can do is be aware um, when they do arise, the thoughts, and really allow them um, the space to be there without resisting. Um, for me, I've found it's a challenging practice. Um, Thoughts can be really hard to notice and really sneaky. And I wonder how many thoughts you might have noticed when you um, did that little practice of um, observing thoughts as they came through and counting them. I personally noticed about four in that um, little time, but when I've done this with other people, perhaps they've noticed as much as 20 or some people just notice one. So. Really with this bringing awareness, we begin to see whether we have long thoughts or short thoughts or thoughts in color or thoughts in um, audio or visual. Um, so, and as that beautiful quote from Tina Turner said that it can really allow us, um, when you're free, your true self comes out. And this naming and seeing um, the thoughts can really provide us a sense of, of freedom um, and a sense of peace to allow our true, true nature to come forth and share with the world. So thank you so much for joining in. I hope this is uh, helpful for you. Um, appreciate you joining in and look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks again to Friends of Patterson Park. Have a great day.